Hello everyone, and you're all very warm welcome to this PMDG 737 for Microsoft Flight Simulator demonstration video. I'm Emmanuel, I'm a member of the PMDG tech team and a real-life Boeing 737 pilot. We're standing in Hamburg on the Watsum Online Day, and we are set up for the Edeco 5 Golf Arnav departure. And today we are going to show you what it looks like when both flight management computers are failing. Again, this is an RNF departure, there is no conventional backup for this one, so it's going to be all on ATC. Now we are about ready to go, and we're just waiting for ATC to give us the clearance to taxi to the holding point. Germania 45 x x ray ready for departure. Germania 45 Taxi to holding point runway 33 via Zulu 1 Orange and Bravo 4. Taxi holding point runway 33 via Zulu 1 Orange and Bravo 4. Germania 45 x x All Alright, that is pretty much straight ahead. And the Nepal 6 Aba Lima follow the Germania Boeing 737 ahead to holding point Bravo 4 runway 33. Bravo 4 is the rightmost of the two. Following the 737 to Bravo 4. Holding point somewhere in BC. Again, in this video, I'm taking over the role of the crew members and... Commander 45 x ray contact Hamburg Tower 126, decimal 826, decimal 850, Germania 45 x ray X-ray, choose. Let's quickly pre-select the departure frequency. Hamburg Tower, good Abend, Germania 45 x ray x ray ready for departure. Germania 45 x ray x ray line up on the 3 3 wait. Line up on the 3 3 wait, Germania 45 x ray x ray. Before takeoff checklist below the line, MCP, set, transponder, TARA, strobe lights on, holding at landing lights. Germania 45 X-ray, wind 040 degrees 8 knots, runway 33, clear for takeoff, vorbei. Ramit 33, clear for takeoff, Germania 45 X-ray, bye bye. Landing lights on, before takeoff checklist complete. Timing. Stabilized. So take off thrust. German Air Force 6, Papa Lima, Hamburg Tower, good evening. Take off thrust set, indications normal. Lufthansa 1 here, Tango, Delta 1, Check. Eine 1005, line up, runway 3, train wait. Line up runway 3 3 right down, I want to go to the Leipzig Air 249, I'll win to 040 degrees 8 knots, runway 05 clear to land. Positive rate climb. Gear up. Lufthansa 1, Sierra Tango, cross runway 3 3 on the other side, contact Hamburg Elbren, 1 2 1, this is the center of the Lufthansa 1, Sierra Tango, cross runway 3 3 on the other side, ground 1 2 1 7 2. Hamburg Tower, 9015 miles, Ronnie, 05. Command A, back up. 901 Hamburg Tower, good evening, wind check, 040 degrees, 8 knots. Flaps 1, speed check, flaps 1. Film Radar, guten Abend, Germania 45 X-ray, X-ray, passing 1700, climbing 5000, IDECO 5 Golf Departure. Germania 45 x ray x ray Bremer, Lohre, der Kontext, Flight Level 100. Climb Flight Level 100, Germania 45 x ray x ray Flaps up, 
check flips up. Set. 100. Checked. Flaps up, no lights. Sit standard. V enough. And after take of checklist. Yeah, what's that? Uh, it reverted the control wheel. And our maps are gone. Okay, that was about. The heading was 249. Okay, 249 heading. Right heading 230. Level change. Right, N1 heading select MCP speed. Border thrust limited. Maps are gone. And the FMCs are gone here. Okay. Germania 4, 5, X-ray, X-ray, uh, unable ANAV, we have an FMC failure, request radar vectors. 4, 5, X-ray, X-ray, Roger, fly heading 270. Fly heading 270, Germania 4, 5, X-ray, X-ray. Okay, that's heading select. So. Let's see what's happening here. Maps are gone. And yeah, the FMC seems to be failed. Okay. So, FMC fail non normal checklist my radios. I'm just going to increase the speed a little bit here. Make that 230 knots. Here we are. FMC fail non normal checklist associated with the FMC push to reset light. That's one to go. Charlie, continue right when heading 050. Germania 45X, XY, XY, request to maintain flight double 100 and we call you back with further intentions. 45X, XY, XY, Roger, for the time to left heading 230. Heading 230, Germania 45X, XY, XY. You've got 964 tails and right heading 225. Okay, so FMC fail non normal checklist. That was an option dual FMC. Yes, we do have dual FMC in this airplane. Condition for dual FMC failures, loss of FMC data on both CDUs. Yeah, the FMC data is gone. Loss of FMC data on the captain's and first officer's navigation display map modes. Yeah, that's the map flags showing, and we are missing all the data as well. Right, the conditions for left and right FMC failures do not apply here, since we have both. Objective is to restore dual FMC operation, configure for single FMC operation, or resume conventional navigation. Okay, choose one. Only the left or right FMC has failed, or dual FMC failure has occurred. Yeah, it's a dual FMC failure, so we go to step four. For your planning, if you would like to go back to Hamburg, would be a delay of 15 to 20 minutes to the high traffic at the moment. Germania 45 x ray x ray Roger, we call you back. Okay, so step number four, resume conventional navigation. Without an operating FMC, Elnaf and Wienerf are not available. Yeah, that matches what we saw. Elnaf and Wienerf disengaged here. We're on radar vectors at the moment, that is fine. Couple clouds, engine and so on. Tie tie. Okay, verify position relative to terrain using conventional navigation. Okay, we currently have the airport team here, 18 miles. That makes about sense with um, where we are. Apart from that, it's flat terrain around the MSAs in the region of about 2,000 feet in northern Germany. So at level 100, we are currently safe. Note, EGPWS may use inaccurate GPS position data or inappropriate value of RMP. This could result in a VSD terrain display that is incorrectly positioned relative to the airplane track. Okay, so we are not going to use the VSD today. 
When preparing for the approach, use the speed reference selector to set the reference airspeed box and use the N1 set selector to set the N1 box. And that's the FMC failed checklist complete. Okay, so... Then let's see what our options are. Um, basically, all of European airspace is RMP airspace. Without the FMCs, we are unable for area navigation, so continuing on is probably not a good idea. Returning to Hamburg, they do have a lot of traffic there. We could probably just confirm with our traffic control as to how long the delay is actually going to be since uh, left heading 180 Germania 45 X-ray explain can you confirm an expected approach time so the approach time would be around uh, 2000 or uh, up to 2010 Germania 45 X-ray X-ray Roger that is uh, all understood. We're going to call you back with the intentions. Okay, um... What other options are there available? We do have Lübeck in the area, however that's the same controllers that are covering the uh, Hamburg approach, so if it's busy on the approach sector it probably means we're not going to get into Lübeck either. Apart from that we do have Hannover around, there is Bremen around and further to the north there is Sylt. Sylt is not a good option since it's an island and for the transport of the passengers and repairs of the airplane are difficult. In Bremen we do not have any maintenance base so that leaves us with Hannover or with uh, Hamburg. Let's just lay us with ATC again as to what's possible there. Germania 45 X-ray X-ray request. Go ahead. Germania 45 X-ray X-ray, is there any arrival delay expected into Hannover and... Could you just confirm an approach at uh, Hamburg Airport is possible as well um, on the hour or thereafter? So Hamburg would be on the hour after and uh, there's uh, no delay into Hannover for now. Germania 45 X-ray X-ray Roger, for now request radar vectors to stay in the area so that we can decide between Hamburg or Hannover as applicable, but we'd, uh, we tend to go towards Hamburg traffic permitting. Right heading 360, Germania 45 X-ray X-ray. Wing 7461, descent 4000 feet, QNH 1015. All right, heading 360. So let's just get something useful up here. Um, 118 decimal two. So, Hamburg approach chart. They do have runway 05 active. And there is Hamburg VOR 103.1. Uh, okay, that's it. 40 miles out, um, with the airport being 40 miles to the north. Now, a diversion towards Hamburg, if they say we can approach on the hour, is probably not too bad, since that is just 13 minutes off, and returning to the departure airport is probably the better idea than diverting to a third airport, since there will be better, better passenger handling available, and we do know the weather is good, and we do also have maintenance available there. We're looking at uh, some 13 minutes of delay, so that is probably not too bad. I would say Hamburg is the best option for the diversion. So let's communicate that to ATC. Germania 45 X-ray X-ray. Yeah, go ahead. Germania 45 X-ray X-ray request to divert to Hamburg Airport. And we do need a few minutes to set up for the arrival as well, so if you can just keep us in the area and uh, then 
we will call you in about five minutes or so when we are ready for the earliest and we can accept uh, up to three zero minutes delay at the moment for a few reasons. Yeah, four five X ray X ray Roger. Okay, um, so let's get this going. Then we are going to divert towards Hamburg. Nine four one two connect Bremen one two three nine nine two five. Let's get the latest ages there. One two three nine nine two five. Bremen one two three nine nine two five. Information India. Time one nine two zero. Expect ILS approach from is zero five. Zero five for landing, three three for takeoff, transition level six zero, wind zero four zero degrees at eight, cap OK nine degrees, QNH one zero one five. Right, one five zero and five three selected here as well. Can cancel this FMC light. FMC is still not working. We'll just bear with it a little bit for the FMC. Sometimes it does recover after a while. It does happen, especially on new aircraft, and this is probably the newest you can have at the moment, since it's not even released at the time of this recording. Alright, so preparing for the approach, we have the ILS, Rome 05. So, I'm going to do the setup, you do the flying for the moment, and then I'll give you a briefing in a moment. We still have time, uh, thanks to ATC anyway. 047 110.5 So we have to fly this approach with split needles since there is no DME for this ILS so We'll have to use the uh, Alstar DME here 115.8 and the ILS frequency just on the number 1 radio And for the missed approach that's going to be straight ahead, intercept and follow radial 272 Hamburg VOR to the VOR. Then continue on radial 092 outbound to 3.5 DME, turn right to the VOR, climbing 4000. So it's basically straight ahead, join the radial 272 inbound. Germania 45 x x way right heading 040. Okay, so straight ahead, then a right hand turn inbound to the VOR, and then we do this alignment turn to join the track inbound and climbing 4000 feet. Good. Minimum is button. So 249. So when preparing for the approach, use the speed reference selector to set the reference airspeed box. Okay, so let's see. We had a gross weight. Oops. Uh, we had a zero fuel weight 53.1. We now have 5.1 tons of fuel. Now they said it's going to be at least another 10 minutes, that's 400 kilos fuel usage. So we'll calculate with that. Bremen radar, so that's 4.7 on the arrival, plus 53.1 makes 57.0. Let's round that up to 58 tons. Then we're on the conservative side over here. So, for the speed reference box can set the weight. I just said 57 tons. Or 58. So 58 tons. Then the VRAF. I have to get this from the... Right, 225. From the uh, QRH now. That's the table here. So VRAF, we said 58 tons, and we are in right, zero nine, zero so 58 tons, uh, but that's zero, for the 737-800. Let's just make sure we find it for the 700. Okay. 
quickly going to use the search function here. That brings us through the documents a little bit faster. So this is the 800. Still the 800. Still the 800. Romania 45X ray, extraction right heading 180. Right heading 180, Romania 45X ray, extraction. Okay, heading 180. Looks like they're basically keeping us in a pattern here to the west of Hamburg Airport. Yeah, over the river Elbe. The city is probably over there. That's all right. Okay, let's see real quick. The search function is not leading us anywhere, and since this document is not indexed, that's uh, rather unfortunate. However, I'm quickly going to search for... Germania 45X for X-ray. Yeah, we can now fit you into the queue anytime. Uh, just report very, very importantly. 45 uh, X-ray, X-ray, Roger. If we accepted the approach now, how many minutes would it be approximately? Yeah, so it would be around uh, 4 to 5 minutes to the intercept and uh, yeah, then just the final approach. 4-5 X-ray X-ray, Roger, just uh, stand by one and I think we'll need about two minutes. Okay, so ATC can accept us now. Okay, so what we're going to do... Um, we do have the numbers here, I've just found that page, it's 351 and now... Um, Looking at about 60 tons, 142, the 2 tons lighter, the, give that 140 knots, VREF. Here we are. VREF 140. VREF 140. Right, 140, down to 4,000 feet, QNH 1015. Wanted to set that at VREF plus 20, but well, that's fine. Okay, we'll also have the auto throttle limited since the FMC would be providing this, um, would be providing the N1 limit values, so we are going to set those manually as well. Yep. Just the page up here. So we have to have the airport temperature. Where is our ATIS? There it is. That is um, 9 degrees now. We're going to go conservative on the 12 degree chart. And the airport is at zero elevation, that's 97.5% there. So we're going to set those many right, as well. Alright. Germania 45X Rayxray is ready for the approach. Yeah, 45X Rayxray, Roger. For the time, turn right, heading 0, 9, 0, descend flat level 6, 0. Turn right, heading 090, and confirm the flight level again, Ryanair... Sorry, Germania 45 X-Ray X-Ray? Descent level 60. Flight level 60, Germania 45 X-Ray X-Ray. Set, 6 are checked. Level change. Right, 30 miles out from Hamburg, so we are... well covered with this. Um, there is more than sufficient distance available for us. Okay, so we have everything here. Are you ready for the approach brief? So we are returning to Hamburg Airport. It's going to be a radar vector ILS approach for the runway 05. That's on a chart 11-1 from the 11th December 2020. Frequency is 110.5. Set um, on my side standby. I'm keeping Hamburg active. Actually, I'll take that active on my side and keep Hamburg active on your side for now for uh, situational awareness. Um, the final approach tracks are 047, set on both sides. Master caution, air conditioning here, off schedule, descent. That does make sense, we'll keep it. It's going to keep the. It's going to bring the airplane 
uh, cabin altitude back down to the departure field elevation so we, we can cancel this. Okay, the approach starts at Annexi. That's 10.5 uh, dB from Alster, minimum 170 knots. Alster is tuned on standby on the number 2 radio. And we have 5.5 miles at 1430 feet, going down to minimums of 249, which is set on both sides. Okay, in case of a go around, we'll climb straight ahead, intercept radio 272 inbound to Hamburg VOR, that's on uh, my side, on the standby. Then we'll overfly Hamburg VOR until 3.5 DME and then make a right and turn inbound to the VOR. Maximum 230 knots for the missed approach, so we can clean it up completely. Alright. Now, we do have the landing data determined. It's going to be manual braking, even though the auto brake is available, so we'll just make it auto brakes 3. Um, the Roma itself is fairly long. And provided the Navigraph app wouldn't hang up, I could actually show you that as well. But I'm afraid that this is currently not working. Okay, I'm sorry for that. But we do have the approach data, and we'll just go for progressive taxi then. Okay, um, do you have any questions for the approach briefing? All right, then let's do the descent checklist. Pressurization, land out is on automatic return. Any eyes? We can turn the anti-ice back on. Germania 45 X-ray X-ray, speed 220 knots, and uh, just confirm expect the ILS 05. Speed 220 knots, expect ILS 05, Germania 45 X-ray X-ray. Alright, that's 220 knots uh, over there. Speed bird 110, Tango turn right heading 120. So we are going into the right direction here, 29 miles from Hamburg, VOR, which again is not at the airport, but that's not too much of a problem for us. Looks like we are coming in more or less straight here. But we'll ask the uh, director for track marks later on. Okay. Demania 45 X-ray, Christian 4000 feet, QNH 1015. Demania 45 X-ray, Christian 4000 feet, QNH 1015. Set. 4000 checked. Set out meter 1015. Passing 6,100, descending 4,000, no flex, stamp out, meter set. Okay, so let's do the descent checklist again. Pressurization, land out is on automatic return, any eyes off, approach with fuel, discussed, IS and altitude box are checked and set. Descent checklist complete. The big threat, of course, is um, situational awareness, knowing our position. There are for also energy management, since we do not have as accurate information. Germania 45X-Ray, X-Ray, right heading 190. Germania 45X-Ray, X-Ray, right heading 190. Germania 45X-Ray, X-Ray, Director 118 Decimal 2, 2. 118 Decimal 2, Hamburg Direct, hallo, Germania 45 X-Ray X-Ray. Germania 45 X-Ray X-Ray, Hamburg Direct, hallo. Okay. So, let's do a first check then. The frequencies, 110.5, active on my side, and again, we are keeping the Hamburg VOR on your side for now, which is identified as Hotel Alpha Mike as well. Don't have any range rings, since the FMC is inoperative. Items in your Hotel Hotel Echo and uh, Hotel Alpha Mike. Standby instruments are set, and the courses are on 047. Approach checklist. Altimeter state instruments, set cross checked, approach rates checked and set. And we are not going to use the VSD since the data is potentially inaccurate. Germania 45 X-ray, speed 200. Speed 200, Germania 45 X-ray, X-ray. I'm going to keep it at 201, then we don't have to extend the flaps. 
Can I nine echo for speed 170 not 175 my final? 170 not 175 my final. Um, can I nine echo for speed? That's a really nice feature here on the ISFD. You can actually see the glide slope indication when you're flying outbound from the track, while on the PFD, the uh, 737 does not show you glide slope information unless you are within 90 degrees of the inbound track. Even though the ILS you're display is playing radio track. You're going to see your tank with your flight, welcome back. On Thank the approach you display you can actually see it as well. You went three Julia Tango turn right heading three two zero reduce speed one nine zero. So we're pretty much right heading three on a downward here. Three three um, nine zero not you going three Julia Tango. Of course, a couple degrees offset. Then a nine echo fox mod contact Hamburg Tower one two six is an eight five zero for me. One to six, eight five zero, Finn and Alex, I'm sure I'm not sure. You wings three to a single, I have a quick question, are you the whole time back or was it just a quick one? Just a quick one, so 5 seconds. Thank you. Juring 3 Juliet Tango, continue turning right heading 020, cleared ILS 05. Continue heading 020, cleared ILS 05, Juring 3 Juliet Tango. So it's not loading any charts anymore, that's unfortunate. My approach shot gone as well now? Yes it is. Anyway, we are fully set up, so we are not going to need this anymore. The charts, by the way, when they work, are provided to the flight and community by Navigraph and are supplied Germania by Jefferson. Left heading 140. Left heading 140, Germania 45 X-ray X-ray. Right, that's heading 140, that's the base leg here. I'm going to switch this to Alstom now. 24 miles. Hamburg was more in top 2 5 Hotel Tango, this is 3000 feet. There comes the localizer, but we don't have clearance to intercept it. German 5, German 4, 5, X-ray, X-ray, turn left heading 0, 3, 0, clear to LS 0, 5. Come on, yeah, 4, 5, X-ray, X-ray, turn left heading 0, 3, 0, clear to LS 0, 5. So he's taking us slightly through the localizer and now we're intercepting it from the east. Sieber 110 Tango, Hamburg Director, good evening. German 45, X-ray, X-ray, are you able to for speed 220 not again? Come on, yeah, 45, X-ray, X-ray, from. Thank you, speed 220 not for now, please. Come on, yeah, 45, X-ray, X-ray, speed 220 not. So he's probably trying to build some separation here to other aircraft. Let's see on the T-cars. There's one over there. First quality 4940, turn right heading 020. He's probably trying to get a little bit of way with the aircraft behind us. Right, there we are approaching the localizer. Vorlock out. 160 knots until 4 miles final. And contact Hamburg Tower 126. This is 850. 
There we can actually see the one six zero Marvin. Uh, one six zero until four Marvin Tower and one two six decimal eight five. You're like forty Mako. Thanks. Actually, no, we cannot. That's the typical mistake. The airport we see over there is not Hamburg Fulzbüttel Airport, which is the one we departed from. It's Hamburg Finkenwerder. And if I could show you the approach chart at the moment, then I could show you that there is actually a note on there that says, "Do not mistake Hamburg Finkenwerder." For Hamburg Full Spittle Airport. And actually, the airport is no longer called Full Spittle, I think. Alright, we have localizer capture from heading 047. Speedbird 110 Tango, turn left heading 130. You're going to see Juliet Tango fully established, zero fast. You're going to see Juliet Tango, thank you. Contact Hamburg Tower 126, so for any spice you want to go. Hamburg Tower 126, zero fast, zero, you're going to see Juliet Tango, let's go. Okay, we are within 17 miles now. Pro Charms. 4, 5, 3, X, 3. Speed 170 or greater until 5 miles. Germania 5 x ray x ray speed 170 or greater until 5 miles. And just confirm uh, the call sign is Germania, not German wings. I'm sorry for that. German. Thank you. Just want to be sure there is nobody else with, this, uh, uh, with the other call sign on the frequency. Okay, flaps 1. Speed checked. Directors of 11 5 0 0 Can you have 5 Delta with the uh, director? Good evening, Decent, 3000 feet. You have 1000 for 11 5 0 0 Fly stop capture, 4000 feet set for the Mr. Approach altitude. And uh, flaps 5. Speedbird 110 Tango, turn left heading 030, clear dial at 05. So the final approach fix is at 10.5 miles from uh, Alster at 3000 feet. About two more miles, 600 feet ish. So that glass does not seem to be any false indication. Germania, 45 x ray x ray contact Hamburg Tower 126, decimal 850, and sorry for that again. 126, decimal 850, Germania, 45 x ray x ray, no problem at all. Right, 10.5 miles, 3100. You always have these small deviations due to temperature error. Hamburg Tower low, Germania, 45 x ray x ray, ILS 05, 170 knots until 5 DME. Germania 45X, XA, Motor, good evening, wind check 050, Your wings 3 to your tango, wind 050, 3 to 8 knots, runway 05, Terrain noted. 05, 3 5 miles, we have to take into account that the VOR is actually Three, almost at, echo, oh, sorry, that the DME is uh, actually almost at the end of the wrong way. Therefore, if ATC tells us to maintain the 170 knots until 5 miles, we're just going to make it 6 miles on the DME here to make things easy. In the Niner Echo Fox spot, cross runway 3 and on the other side, contact Hamburg April, 1 to 1, that's Miss Evan, bye bye. Cross runway 3, 3 on the other side, 1 to 1, that's what's up. Traffic advisory. Bye bye. But I don't see him. Off scale traffic. It's behind us. Yeah, that's not an issue. Well, Tika's understood that as well now. Master caution air conditioning are scheduled descent. That's an accident. 
Alright, we're five miles out. So we can start reducing. Hamburg Tower, KLM 1784, I'll take the climb. KLM 1, 7, 8, 4, contact Bremen, Radar 1, 3, 4, that's my 2, 5, so bye-bye. 1, 3, 4, that's my 2, 5, KLM 1, 8, 7, 4, bye-bye. Alright, so landing checklist. Start switches, continuous, recall, check, speed brake, arm, green light, landing gear, down three green, auto brake, three set, flat, 30 30 green light, and the landing light. I'm in 05, clear to land, Germania 45 X ray X ray. Landing lights on, landing check is completed. And disconnect the autopilot. Quality 4940, Hamburg Tor, good evening, wind check 05, 30 degrees, 8 knots. And your wings 3 to your tango, taxi in the fire delta 1, cross on me 3 3 and us. <laughs> and correct on <laughs> And on the other side, Hamburg Apron 1 to 1, listen to 7, sorry. Uh, left on Delta 1, cross on Delta 3, 3, other side, uh, Apron 1 to 1, that's with them, you're in the future, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Delta in the Alpha Macromia holding point, runway 33. Speed brake up. Press this normal, idle reverse. One hundred knots. Speed brake to one one zero tango on the tower, good evening, then check zero five zero degrees, eight knots. Annual brakes. Auto brake disarm. Von der Vorsicht war 8-2 und natürlich passiert. Right, ATC hasn't said anything, so we'll just bring the airplane to stop here after the line. So that's it, thank you very much for joining us. That's about all there is about the uh, dual FMC failure. You see, even a modern airliner still fly without any problems. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.